Well, guys, here we are back, and we're going to talk about the chemical and the physical changes. Howdy. Chemical, physical changes. So there's two kinds of changes, Mr. Sam. There are. Chemical and mm -hmm. uh, uh, physical. Physical. Yeah. <laughs> uh, really? Yeah, I, I need to undergo a few physical changes. Do you? Because I'm, you know, kind of getting out of shape. And getting out of shape. I ran old. five, almost six miles this morning. Wow, I chased my kids around the house because yeah. they woke up at 5.30 this morning. Yeah. Well, I was out the door about six running, so. Well, that, that's kind of late for you, isn't I, it? It was a late morning. Yeah. I slept in. Yeah. Yeah, because I was watching the Giro d'Italia last night. Ah. Uh, yeah. You stayed up till what, 9.30? Which is about an hour and a half past your bedtime? Nine, actually. Nine? And then okay. at nine, and I actually <laughs> fell asleep at about 8.30. So, uh. <laughs> all right. Physical changes. Okay, Mr. Sam's needs to undergo physical changes, but I think yes. we're talking about a different, oh, different kind, kind of, of physical, physical changes. changes. Okay. Hey, you know one thing we haven't really said in these podcasts, guys? I want to make sure you know that you still need to be taking notes. So you need oh, to yes. be writing these make things sure down. So notes. I've got some text on the screen. Substances change from form, but some – write that down. Yeah. And uh, so – because, yeah, first of all, that's how we're going to check that you've done the work. Yep. And so write it down. All right, pause. Everybody push pause. 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 And then write it down. Okay? All right. All right. In a physical change, what yeah. goes on? Ch substance changes form. Yes. But. But do not. Do not. Actually, we're, but do not change formula. All right. Yeah. The example essentially of this is if I take water and I take solid water. Solid water. And what's that better known as? Ice. Ice. Ice, ice, baby. And we use a little arrow, we'll be a little chemical here, symbol, and it can turn very easily into, into water. Into liquid water. Liquid. Okay? Yeah. And that's better known as? As uh, water. Water. Okay? And that is called a physical change. Yeah. H2O. It's still H2O. It's still H2O. Yeah. So, hey, we're good. So the formula hasn't changed, but it's changed from a solid form to a liquid form. So these are usually we think of physical changes as changes of state. States of matter, like solid, liquid, gas. Yeah, actually, think of four states. Solid, liquid, gas, and although it's not technically a state, it's sort of a form. It's called Texas. aqueous. Oh. Oh, no, not Texas. Aqueous. Aqueous, oh, okay. Aqueous is a special form that's the when something is dissolved, and aqueous means water. Like aqua. Like aqua. Uh, Aquatics. I was an aquatic guy when I was a swimmer. So aquatic, aqua, aqueous. All right, so, yeah. When something is dissolved. All right. Now here we have kind of a cool picture here, um, or a, a deal. What's going on with this particular? Looks like a little time lapse of some solid water becoming liquid water, just so, like we saw. So H two O. That's right. Solid so water, water solid. Yep. Turns into water liquid. All right. Good. All right. Now, actually, what we're going to do now is. We have a short little video clip showing us uh, talking about this very same thing. Okay. In this beaker, we have water and ice. It's representing another physical change, solid to liquid. It is still, uh, the chemical is still H2O. It's just going from H2O solid to H2O liquid. It stays at a constant temperature of zero degrees Celsius. So the, even though it's still water and ice, it's still at the same temperature. And so it's a great indicator of a physical change. That's pretty cool, Mr. Sams. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Now, uh, this is a picture here of something you've also seen, probably. Yep. This is uh, water again. It doesn't have to be water. It's just the easiest thing to work with. Water yep. what? I see it that kind of as like a... liquid water. It's a liquid already, right? It's like it's right? becoming a gas by boiling. And it's turning into a gas. And I was... I kind of question someone's judgment of putting a coffee pot over a gas burner like that. I know, it's maybe, kind of a cool maybe, picture. Maybe it's okay. <laughs> when I was looking like for cool pictures. Explosion so if you were explosion. to look up here, you would find up here, if you could see them, you can't hear, but you could find the steam particles, which of course are water gas, yeah. which you might just call vapors or steam, whatever, water vapor, but that's little water particles um, that are now floating in the air after the water boils. Yep. Okay. Now let's watch a cool little clip uh, of this as well. Okay, this here we have boiling water. It is a physical change because the chemical composition isn't changing. It's liquid H2O turning to a gas H2O. And if we hold this up behind it, you can see the, the water vapor behind there. Um, here in Woodland Park, we're at a higher altitude, so the temperature is actually boiling at 92 degrees Celsius rather than the 100 degrees Celsius as it would be at sea level because of the 
pressure change in the atmosphere. Good. And the key thing also, folks, to understand about this water is that it stays at 92 degrees for the entire time. Now, if you are watching this and you happen to live at sea level, Beth Ann, what would you discover the temperature to be? The temperature would be right at 100 degrees Celsius yeah. if it was at sea level. But us at 8,500 feet, it's 92 degrees. But the key thing to understand is that the water is going from a liquid to a gas, but it's still water. H2O turns into H2O. H2O liquid turns into H2O gas. I found this picture on the internet. I wow. thought it was pretty cool. What a deal is that? Would that's, you like to live there? That's why I don't live in the Northeast. Yeah, that, you think that's the Northeast? That yeah, seems that like a reasonable... looks like my car, too. It looks like a Ford Expedition. Yeah, well, it was. <laughs> I think it's got some issues. I think uh, they're going to uh, file some insurance for uh, Yeah, Yeah, maybe. And this has already actually already gun, uh, undergone the uh, change that I wanted to uh, refer here. We have water... Liquid. Liquid, uh, which quickly turned into water... So... Solid. Yeah. We call that what? What is That's this process? Yeah. This is called yeah, freezing. But this is still a physical change. It's not a chemical change. It's still water. Yeah, H2O. Water, water, water. H2O formula stays the same, yep. doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. And then this one's kind of a cool uh, one. You guys might not know too much about this. Hard to tell in here, but in the bottom of this, there is dry ice. What's dry ice, Mr. Dry Sanders? ice is solid carbon dioxide. So CO2 solid. And it is turning now. This kind of looks like vapor, steam, or something, right? Yeah. So what's what's going on with that? Well, the the dry ice is actually becoming a, a gas. It's going directly from the solid to the gaseous phase, and in that process is called sublimation. So sublimation. Sorry about the pen, guys. So cool, huh? Yeah. So that's kind of a cool one too. All right. Now I want to talk about some chemical changes. All right. So physical changes, it changes state. State primarily. Solid to right. liquid, liquid to gas, gas yeah. to liquid, gas to solid, or actually go from solid to aqueous, a lot of different changes. Mm -hmm. Now I want to talk about something that's a little different called a chemical change. Now here, it changes from chemical A to something new to chemical B. All right, like my pen is doing a weird thing, guys. Sorry about that. All right, just making notes here with my pen. All right, okay. Lovely drawing, man. I know, isn't that kind of cool? It's like a whale. It's like a whale, and there's his eye right there. Ooh, a narwhale with the little nose. Yeah, don't you see that? So, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Very nice. All right.